What's up guys, Deus Ex Machina here, DEM Gaming, uh, bringing you a video I've been sitting on for a while. Um, this is something we figured out a long time ago, you know, first couple months the game was out, but I uh, didn't want to make a video showing everyone how to make the macros because I always kind of felt like that was the downfall of L2R once everybody started running revive macros. It just made PvP stupid and pointless. Um, I remember we'd be at like war with other people and just be feeding them hundreds of deaths because you know we would just revive and go back to farming but uh, this game's a little different because there actually is a death penalty so you don't want to just keep dying over and over so this macro is going to be a uh, teleport macro um, to uh, so that you don't die in the first place because uh, every time you die in this game you lose five percent um, I figure most people already know this I know a lot of people already run them. I come across people running them all the time. Um, to be honest, this game is starting to die anyway. I, I can't imagine there's more than like four or 500 people left on the North American servers. So for those four or 500 people, this video is for you. <laughs> uh, and for probably the 50 of you that aren't actually still running a macro. Um, so uh, the start, you need one of these gaming keyboards that has the G1, G2, G3, like down the side. This is just a cheap Corsair. I mean, it was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. It's not mechanical or anything. Um, it, there are more expensive keyboards, but you can get away with any cheap keyboard that has these um, buttons. That's what these buttons are for, is programming macros. I don't know if you've ever watched uh, like Counter-Strike or Valorant, where they have to buy stuff each round, and you see them just like, Brah! like, you know, they're bought like all their stuff in the blink of an eye it's because they have them keyed to a macro um you know to just go and buy everything so um we're gonna start with the corsair uses this um program called iq uh, i used to have a logitech gaming keyboard it has a very similar software this is just showing you how to do it with corsair you know you might have to figure it out on your own on logitech but this will show you the steps that you need to take. Um, so we're gonna start by recording a macro. Then we need to know which key binding we're gonna use in case you've been playing this game and you haven't learned this. These are all key bounds. So this is like one, two, three, four, five. If you're not sure which one's which, you can come up here to this keyboard and it shows you your key bindings. So uh, we're gonna use number nine, which is the clan hall scroll. Uh, I like using the clan hall scroll because, first of all, it's a little bit faster, like the animation, the an, the animation is a little bit faster, so it um, gets you out quicker when you're being attacked, and there's another reason I'll show you once we set the macro up. So we're going to use number 9, so we're going to come to our IQ software, we're going to record a macro, uh, let me bring this up. so you're, we're going to hit record macro, we're just going to press number 9 stop macro or stop recording and then we're going to come over here to advanced settings action trigger we're going to go with toggle that way it's just on or off uh action repeat repeat constantly and then we have to choose which one of these buttons we want to key it to so i'm just going to go g1 and that's it we are done we're saved the next step is actually in game we're going to come in here to settings we're going to go configure scroll all the way to the bottom and cancel power save when hit by a player you need that to be on if it's off this doesn't work it has to be on so then what we do is we find our spark that we're going to go farm i don't really care where we go we'll just go up here all right so we're farming we're going to go to power save mode and then we're going to hit our g1 to turn the macro on now whenever we get hit by a player it'll unlock and it will just take us straight to clan hall now this is why i like using clan hall teleport scrolls because it will just keep saying already in clan hall and it'll sit there and do that until you turn the macro off but let's say you uh try to use an escape scroll and then you hit the macro it's just going to keep teleporting you around the village. So, um, that's why I don't use the, uh, the escape scrolls, because I feel like that's going to draw some attention. Um, and 
technically macros are against TOS and you can get banned for it, but like I said, everyone is doing it. If they ban everyone who's running a macro or botting right now, there literally won't be a, a game left because there would be like 50 people playing. Um, so that's basically how you do it. Super simple. Um, the uh, clan hall scroll, of course, won't work if you're farming like in world because you have to come back to server. So then you would have to put it to an escape scroll. That's the only thing to keep in mind with using the teleport uh, clan hall scroll. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's how you set it up. Super simple. You know, takes five minutes to do. Uh, I've been playing around with trying to make some where you just teleport away and then go back on auto and farm. Well, if you stay on auto. But the problem is you have to be able to get back to this power save mode. And I haven't quite got it to where it works all the time. Like, it works sometimes, but you have to set up all these delays because sometimes there's, like, latency between, like, stuff you input in the game. Like, um, like sometimes this actual teleport screen takes a little longer than other times. And so then your, like, mouse clicks and stuff get all out of whack. Um, and it didn't work the way I wanted to, but if anybody has any advice on getting that going, I would gladly take it and make a video out of it and give you credit. But, um, yeah. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I said, game's kind of dying, so I don't know how much longer we're going to keep playing it. So, I will catch all of you guys later. Possibly in a new game. Possibly in Throat and Liberty or whatever that new game is that's coming out. I'm not sure if I'm going to play it or not. Um, but yeah, take care everybody. Peace out.